Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Now, the team was dropped yesterday, but it's a promo Friday today. I think we're going to see a lot of content still today, even though Winter Wildcards Team 2 was released yesterday. A bit of a weird one, right? It was like a promo Thursday with new cards coming into packs on a very odd day, but I think it really just gave EA more reason to run more lightning rounds. I think there's a lot of content ahead, though, today on this Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to all of you guys uh, out there watching this video. I hope the holidays find you well, whatever your situation may be. I'm thankful for all of you that tune in to watch these videos. Your support and your love, especially over this past year, has made me very grateful for the opportunity that I have to do this and to talk about FIFA with you guys. So I just wanted to mention that today. I'm very thankful for you guys all year long, but especially in this period towards the end of the year. I wanted to give a special shout out to you guys, of course, but Winter Wild Cards too, right? EA kind of changed things up yesterday. Let's talk about this promo because they dropped new cards on a Thursday, which is weird. Today is a Friday when normally we get new cards, um, but yesterday we didn't get a objective. I think we still have prime icons coming into packs today. I think we might be getting another party bag today on Friday as well. So I want to talk about this market, how it reacted to kind of a, you know, we had new cards in packs yesterday, but it seemed like sort of a dead day right? It seemed kind of like a quieter day because yes, we do have the new cards. We did have a new player SBC, but the player SBC was just average. And that was kind of it. So I want to talk about that, how these winter wildcard items are very rare. The pack weight is very low, even though E is running a ton of lightning rounds and some of the other movements that we had like winter wild cards from team one exploding in price. So if you're a fan of this promo, let me know why down in the comments. And if you're liking the videos on the channel, of course, it's a very appreciated if you put a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. But let's look at this team that is in packs as of yesterday, which was a bit surprising. Again, I was unsure as to what was going to happen yesterday. EA's website said Team Two is going to come out right away after Team One, and that's what di that's what did happen. Even though it's different than normal, but it's only 11 cards, and that also was part of the reason why I think yesterday was a bit. I guess lackluster compared to what people thought and wanted it to be, especially as you look at this team. There's some there's some nice cards in here, right? Sterling with that four star, four star upgrade. They switched his dominant foot to left footed, kind of like the Kings of the Coman from team one. Alessandrini's card uh, is it honestly looks cracked, right? The, the Alessandrini striker special card looks pretty dope. Martial is probably one of the most surprising players of the promo team. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills, high-low work rates. His card looks incredible with a Hawk chemistry style, which I believe is the most popular chem style to put on him. I mean, look at that with a Hawk chemistry style. This guy looks absolutely nuts. So I'm not sure how he plays in game, but he has the makings of an insane striker card. Morales is an absolutely insane cheap striker, uh, kind of replacing like Angel Correa. His card went down a lot yesterday. Hazard looks dope. Lucas Mora. Um, again, Ganduzi is a Hullet Gang CDM in the League One with French links. Collins looks like an insane center back from the Bundesliga. So yes, these cards are cool, but I think a lot of people were missing Zlatan. And from the leaked player list that we saw earlier this week, a lot of these names spot spot on and match up. Uh, but a lot of people were looking for Zlatan, Magnan, Aspilicueta, Teze, uh, Moreno, the left back, not striker, Delane, Delaney, Taremi, and then we didn't see a Trippier either. So we have like a lot of cards still leaked to come out. I think Zlatan and all of those cards are going to be released as a mini release sometime in the next three days. Maybe it's today, maybe it's tomorrow, maybe it's Sunday. One of those three days, I'd say Sunday is the most likely. Saturday or Sunday um, is the potential time frame for a mini release, which would be like half a promo team. So it'd be kind of like a large mini release, if you will. So we're going to have to keep an eye out on that. Now, today for content on Friday, let's talk about that because... Um, the content yesterday was just our regular player SBC, which we've, get, we've been getting a player SBC every single day during this promo. Kind of a dope dynamic image, but not that dope of a card. It is very cheap. It's like 30,000 coins, but this Orsellini does not look like anything super duper special unless you run a Serie A team and you just have some extra fodder maybe laying, laying by to put this um, to put this in a club for maybe icon swaps for the second set of tokens if they require Syria again or something like that or it Italy players or something um, just for collecting the card I guess you could say uh, but that really wasn't that hype of an SBC now today there's a couple player names still that we're throwing around Coutinho would be a massive SBC 
it just it would just seem right for a Friday unless they were trying to kind of crash the market on a Saturday or a Sunday but I do expect a Coutinho SBC since he is leaked that's a name that's been talked about and looked forward to. You've already seen some players like De Jong in form rise up in price because people are anticipating that Coutinho SBC to drop. And I hope that's the SBC we get today. But Kaza, the League One center back, and Kynes, again, the five-star, five-star, supposed center attack in mid from the Bundesliga, are other SBCs that we could see. Uh, those are leaked names that are potentially coming today. Now, also content-wise today on Friday, we had a party bag SBC released earlier in the week and it expires today on Friday, I think that a party bag SBC is going to be reinstated into the game today. I think we're going to have another one of these party bags. Um, and I think, I believe as well, it was just ones to watch, numbers up. Um, the party bag SBC wasn't even like that great. It was different from the winter uh, roundup pack or whatever it was that was in the store, which we have not seen released again. But the party bag SBC again was once to watch rule breakers, Adidas numbers up and team of the group stage. So I do think that this is going to be re-released. I might see it would make sense if EA were to release this again with a winter wild card swap token available from it. So watch out for that. I don't even know if fodder is going to rise. I really don't think that fodder is going to rise. Fodder is in the absolute bin because EA keeps running lightning rounds. They keep supplying packs more and more. They're dropping these new packs and they're even they're even promoing them. As you can see here on the main screen, it says special holiday offer. They're, they're trying to do like a two for one pack type thing. Don't miss out on a special holiday offer that gets you a rare players pack and a bonus gold players pack. So it's almost like two for one packs. So you, you buy a 50K, it's 50,000 coins or a thousand FIFA points. Uh, and then it gives you a gold players pack inside. So it's not quite a two for one, but it's like a 1.5 to one or something like that, I guess you could say. Now, I think it is 2 a.m. UK at the moment. So I want to see if they drop more lightning rounds, which it looks like they did. They dropped 85 plus star lightning rounds, which this is what they've been doing in, on the late night time frame, like 2, 3 a.m. UK time. They've been dropping these. But again, you take a look at this pack weight for the brand new winter wild cards team too. 5.7% is low. That is low. These cards are very rare on the market. We saw some huge, huge fluctuations in price. I was able to make some big money yesterday trading some winter wild cards from the team too. And you know, that interests me, right? It's very interesting that EA is making team two more rare than team one. Now I know you might say, Nate, there's only 11 cards in packs. Is that why the number is lower? I mean, that's probably playing into it a little bit, but last week out of an ultimate pack, I'm pretty sure that winter wild cards team one was like 11 or 12% and it's only 7% at the moment. So maybe when they add the rest of the cards with the mini release in packs, this number goes up a little bit, but it still seems that these cards are pretty rare. I also think you had less people opening lightning rounds yesterday um, on Thursday than you did for normal promo days. But that's kind of in turn made these cards really, really rare. So I'm kind of looking at Sterling. I bought Sterling's at 400,000 coins yesterday. Right now, he is 500K. I sold too early on the Sterling card. I sold at 460 um, because he went from 400 to 460 in like a two to three hour time frame. I was fearing more lightning rounds and he dropped back down even lower. But like players like Lucas Mora went from 700,000 coins all the way to 900K. I believe he is now around the 800K range. Uh, but, but that's the fact, right? These cards are very rare. And since we've never seen this before, we're sitting here wondering on this Friday as we head into the day with Weekend League, of course, at demand, are people going to wake up today and try these cards? And are these cards going to go up in price? I know we would, a lot of us would think that, yes, we are going to see these, some, some of these cards rise up today in price. Um, as we take a look at Eden Hazard, who went from 390,000 coins all the way up to like 450 and he's now back down to like 400,000 coins flat as you can see here that's a bit of an undercut probably from somebody who just packed it in the lightning round but there's not a lot of profit in it since there's many cards here at 420 um do we see these cards rise today honestly i think you do i think you see some of these winter wild cards rise into the content drop today but then i also think people are going to know that fridays are lightning round days fridays are days with a lot of pack supply and you're going to see some panic selling pre 6 p.m on these cards as well so i do expect some panic selling dipping into the content that could make for some interesting fluctuations on cards maybe like martial or some of your more rare top tier elite cards especially since these Cards have a pretty low pack weight. Martial went to 1.2 mil for a short time. Um, and he doesn't have that many cards under 1.2 mil for the hype that he has. Right now, he's about 1.13 
on the market. So if this card were to drop down tonight with some of these other lightning rounds, under 1.1 mil, I would potentially get interested because I think people will wake up and want to try this card uh, today on Friday. But then I do think you would see people sell it off as we head into the 6 p.m. time frame. So just watch out for that. Other content to expect today, I would expect to see the Trippier objective, right? That is a leaked objective. Um, I think that since we did not have an objective yesterday, they're going to drop one of those objective players in here today. Supposedly the leak is Trippier. So player SBC, player in objective, party bag. And the last piece of the puzzle is I think they are going to end up dropping the rest of the prime icons in packs today. So keep an eye out for that because of course, prime icons are down bad, right? With rewards yesterday, rivals rewards, and a lot of people knowing that some big cards were coming out via Winter Wild Cards Team 2. Prime icons who just seem to have no demand in this game are down bad, right? You take a look at some of these cards that were yesterday selling. Uh, now you have seen some insane fluctuations on some of these cards. Yesterday before content, Thierry Henry was 3.4 million coins on Wednesday. He went all the way down to 2.3 mil on Thursday. He's now rebounded back up to around 3 million coins. But this Balak was over a million coins. And as you can see now, he's like 800,000 coins. So icons are just in the mud. That's There's no really other way to say it than that. Icons are just in the mud right now because people are preferring these new promo cards, which is increasing the power curve. And they're just better cards, right? And that's why icons are kind of just losing their hype right now at the moment so they're still really good to trade with i made a, a good coins yesterday on a couple icons uh, but this would be a place if you like to trade on the market this would be a place to watch today is a lot of those prices are going to swing uh some more on the game as well and watch out for the rest of the cards right like we don't have a prime hullet in packs at the moment we don't have uh cards like i believe Prime Zidane is out, Prime Cantona, Prime Eusebio, but we don't have Prime Ronaldinho. We do not have Prime Vieira. We do not have uh, Prime Maradona. So the cards, basically the rest of the icons on this game that don't have Primes released, I think they released uh, half of the set in batch one and batch two, the rest of them will be today. So there'll be some brand new Prime icons on the market today. Definitely keep an eye out for that if you like to trade with those or if any of those icons uh, interest you on this game. So that's kind of what's going on. Now, yesterday with the Winter Wild Cards Team 1 going out of packs, a lot of those cards, cards absolutely ballooned in price. They exploded. Now, I bought a bunch of Jonathan Davids at around 80, 89, 86, you know, anywhere between 85 and 88 coin, 88,000 coins. Um, and a lot of those cards have gone up. I believe Jonathan David right now is somewhere around the 110,000 coin range, as I'm just going to relist a lot of this stuff at the moment. But some of these cards exploded yesterday. And when I'm talking exploded, I mean like big time exploded. So Luka Modric was like 600,000 coins at rewards time, where a couple hours before awards, he was about 600,000 coins. I bought one, sold it at 670, and he has since exploded. And a lot of these wild cards from Team 1 just flew in price. And if you take a look at some of these prices, you're going to be amazed, right? A lot of you guys that watch the market know this. Kingsley Coman was 500K. He's now 600,000 coins, right? Pogba was 900 flat. He's up 150K to 1.04 mil. Spinazzola was over-invested in. A lot of people were expecting Zlatan and Serie A cards. So he really did not move that much. And seeing this card being over-invested has me sort of interested. If he drops back down in the 120s, we might pick a few up. But Milinkovic Savage is up 15K. Twan Zebe is up 40,000 coins. Jonathan David is up like 30K himself. Um, Neymar is up. Any of the really meta cards from this previous promo just absolutely exploded. And a lot of cards yesterday on the market um, did pretty well. If they were links to popular cards, this Bamba, Jonathan Bamba, 87,000 coins. He was like 75K yesterday. Um, the Atoll items linking to Awar because a lot of people, as we mentioned, um, a lot of people are going out and doing this Awar SPC because it just keeps getting cheaper. And it did it. A lot of people did this SPC yesterday after the Milestone and Division Rivals rewards payout um, because they got packs, they opened them, they got some fodder. And yeah, uh, SBC fodder is in the mud. So I know that I've got still, I have some 88s that I bought at like 23K that are still on my transfer list from like two weeks ago. And, you know, the next time these guys go to like 27, 28,000 coins because of an icon SBC or something like that, realistically, fodder is going to rise. 
when they stop running freaking lightning rounds every two hours. That's the, that's that's plain and simple what, what it's going to take is EA has to stop running lightning rounds because this is a big SBC promo. But obviously, one of the goals they had during this promo was to not let fodder rise. And that is why it's not because they keep releasing lightning round after lightning round. And yes, they're putting out SBCs, but the SBCs are just overshadowed by insane amounts of supply all the time with multiple hours of lighting ground they're dropping two different lighting rounds at once it's crazy it is absolutely crazy on this market right now so again the, the wild card twos have a pretty low pack weight and that's very interesting the icons are down in price a lot of like this correa dropped yesterday because of the new moreno card that has come out you might see some more drops on the market today um, with those wild card two cards since they're still so rare I mean, if you take a look at some of these cards and how many pages they have of supply on the game, the reason I bought Sterling yesterday was just because he is so rare, right? I bet he has like no more than three pages right now. One, two. Yeah, he's got three pages of cards, right? Day one, what we've learned is that these cards have a low pack weight and they're stupid rare. So after today, though, they're going to get more supplied. And that's why I really want you guys to watch out for some of these cards dropping in to the 6 p.m. time frame today on Friday, because I do feel like there is going to be some sell off and there are going to be some people that are preparing for these cards to drop down in price. Now, this Collins card, who's 150,000 coins at the moment, he was 180, 190,000 coins earlier. This might be an option for later on, later on today. Uh, if this card goes any lower, I might look into picking a few up because this card is very hyped at the moment. I know, you know, Bundesliga links aren't the most insane. We do have Sal. A lot of, you know, people are using Mbabu, but this card looks really, really good. And he's got the kids all hyped. Same with Alessandrini. So we'll see if any of these cards fluctuate up into the day uh, today on Friday. I think a lot of people are out playing games, right? After Rivals Rewards yesterday, I don't, you guys would not have seen it here on the YouTube video. Uh, last night after my video, I picked up like, literally it was like 15 Salahs, 15 or 20 Salahs that I bought at 80,000 coins. I sold them all at like 90K. I think Salah is back down in the 80s because of all the lightning rounds. Uh, I bought Varans at uh, 52,000 coins and I sold those for 62, 63,000 coins. A lot of the a lot of the market went up, pure and simple, right? A lot of your really meta cards went up in price. Varan is still up after rewards yesterday. So if you made a lot of coinage, GGs. Again, today, if you're trying to make coins, I would specifically watch the brand new promo cards and I would watch panic selling as well if we do get a party bag. I would watch panic selling on some of these items, some of these cards um, that people, you know, think they're going to pack from a party bag, but they're realistically not going to not going to pack too much. Right. Like Kiesa is being invested because of Zlatan with Serie A links. Um, I'd be very careful with this card. Right. If, if there was any panic selling on some of these items, because I really do feel pretty confident about a party bag coming today. I'd keep an eye on those items. Um, and then, you know, you might see a bit of a panic sell and then people buying them back. Um, as people realize, okay, hey, I didn't actually pack the card that I had. Like, let's say somebody has Bruno and, and they sell it because they think they're going to pack it out of the party bag. Well, realistically, how many people are going to pack Bruno? Not very many. So that's just kind of the state of the game, right? It's, it's going to take some pretty nice content from EA Sports today to make it seem like a nice Friday. I think the real driver of content today is the SBC. It's got to be Coutinho and it's got to be a very, priced, very well-priced Coutinho with a really big upgrade because that would be an SBC that would make people go out onto the market and buy cards to change their squad. You would probably see some Vinicius Jr. links uh, and some other La Liga links rise if Coutinho's SBC is very good today. So I know that the cards have already started to rise. Vinny Jr.'s inform was like 120, 130K last night. He's 130 flat right now. I think the second inform is like he was 230 at one point. I don't know if he's dropped down at all or if he's maybe still around like the 230, 240 range, it looks like he's maybe up. Um, but those those Brazilian links, especially La Liga links, um, De Young is another one. De Young is up in price at the moment, like De Young's in for him, the road to the knockouts. Uh, they did not drop any more of those, uh, whatever it's called, like winter roundup of lightning rounds um, that you know supply those old promo cards tradable. They have not dropped any more of those. Um, I don't honestly know when they're going to do it again. I thought since they dropped them yesterday that they might do it like late night tonight. Maybe they'll do it again and we'll have to see. But um, yeah, that was a bit uh, interesting that, that they dropped those and then dropped two sets of lightning rounds last night when we made that extra or two nights ago, we made that extra upload talking about how crazy the market was because of that. 
uh, but then they haven't done it since. So that that lighting round is in the code. It could get dropped at any time. Um, and again, that would make the market move a ton. So it's kind of an interesting Friday. It's again, it's different, right? Because we've already had these promo cards dropped into the game. People were trying them out. It's a weird one because we think maybe they'll rise into today, but specifically with more pack supply, a lot of people and myself included are going to tell you, hey, you're going to have to get these cards out pre 6 p.m. content today on Friday or else you're going to risk losing some coins because definitely, definitely, definitely these cards are going to get supplied as um, a lot of people are going to be opening lightning rounds today. But regardless, a Thursday promo day yesterday was very interesting. I really do think that it comes down to the SBC content today, but a party bag. A party bag would be a cool SBC that would get people interested in at least something in here. And it's really got to be Coutinho for me today to make it a really interesting day on this game. Now, one thing you could do as well is stack some 75 plus player picks. If you wanted to stack a few of these, these have not been that good. Um, for whatever reason, the old 75 plus player picks where it was one of two players seem to be better. Um, also, if you're wondering where the winter wild cards token was from yesterday, it was in marquee matchups. So if you did not see uh, marquee matchups, as you can see here, any SBC that has that plus on it, that would be an SBC that contains a winter wild cards token. And the Union SG versus uh, Ghent SBC actually gives you that wild card token. So if you were wondering where that token was from yesterday, it is there. I would expect maybe a two, maybe two tokens drop today, uh, as we are only two days away now from actually being able to redeem our tokens from winter wild card swaps. People are going to be taking that 85 times 10. And on the 26th, when that happens, that's going to create some interesting market movements because you might have some people taking that 85 plus times 10. And some people are going to be opening that pack with Winter Wildcards Team 2, which is going to maybe bring some supply. And it's going to put, honestly, more fodder into people's clubs, which is for fodder investors, not what they want to hear. But it's a very interesting market right now at the moment as a lot of icons are down. A lot of these Winter Wildcards items are rare or up in price uh and it's, it's just crazy times on this game at the moment but i think it's going to be a fun day on friday there should be good content hopefully uh there's good market movements where we can make some more coins we made about four hundred thousand coins off of these flips yesterday i bought this javi at 950 i bought all these at 400k 410 bought this at 615 bought this at 415 or 417 um i got this bajo at 700k flat doing a little risky flip there uh, and we've got we've got over 6 million coins in total if we go full liquid. So we're feeling good, right? It's been a really good week of trading this last week with a lot of fluctuations. And tomorrow should be, or today should be another good day with a market that is, you know, pretty healthy. And we, we focus on those most meta and popular places on the market. And we, we will be able to make some coins. Now, I would watch out for some cards getting supplied and dropping during landing rounds like your Meta Golds, like your Messi, Ronaldo, and Bappe a little bit. There's going to be some fluctuation on those cards with lighting rounds, of course. Uh, but I do think you'll see a lot of people playing Weekend League uh, this weekend, as you saw a lot of the market rise uh, yesterday after rewards, because qualifying for foot champions is easier. More people are doing that. That's going to affect more people in Weekend League, more demand for teams. So that's my opinion of what's going to happen today on this game. The Winter Wild Cards Team 2 is here, but it's actually already here. It's, it's kind of crazy, right? We're kind of going a day early, but it is what it is. We're going to have fun with it. Merry Christmas Eve once again. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been an account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.